My name is Rosie. I live my life with purpose and with passion. I'm a life liver, an adventure seeker, and a soul searcher. For me, riding just gives me that opportunity to experience my adventure on another level. And riding for me is a full embodied experience. I mean, getting, getting on a bike on two wheels, it's that feeling of freedom. You know, the minute I get on that bike and I have no set place to go, I have no set time limit, I just, I just go and that freedom it is just, it's incredible. To me, it's not about the, the most challenging roads or the most epic sceneries or this or that. No, for me, it's really about the people and the culture and the life experiences that come along with that and just enriching myself as human soul and growing and getting to learn and get inspired by people and just feel absolutely humbled my first solo trip was when I was 19 and I went off on a 125cc Honda Dream and I rode 12,000 kilometers across Southeast Asia. You'll see me riding all sorts of bikes all over the place. I'm not like brand specific, I'm not, I don't need all the fancy modifications and all these things like, it's two wheels, it gets you from point A to point B and if it breaks down in between, well, it's called an adventure for a reason. So my philosophy has always been to go out there to have an experience, to meet the people, to have an amazing cultural experience and to enrich my life and my soul as a person because there's so much that you can learn by going out and, and meeting these people and just having life lessons. So every day I dropped the bike and it was kind of the same thing, you know, I would go and run for help and I found out at the very end of my trip that I could, in fact, pick up my bike. I could have saved a lot of trouble this entire trip. However, every time I needed help picking up my bike, I met the most incredible people. I got to experience the kindness of complete strangers. You know, that turned into getting invited back to their homes and getting this amazing cultural experience. So, for me, traveling is all about the adventure and the people that you meet. Getting this enriched experience and these life lessons. Because if you went out there knowing everything and expecting everything was going to be okay, and, and if everything went perfect, what kind of an adventure would that be? And everything happens for a reason. The life lessons you get when you travel. When I go out there and my bike breaks down or anything like that happens there's always a lesson behind it and life is really uh, intriguing like that because I've learned so much on my travels and if everything went perfect if everything went fine you would never learn anything so I am so grateful for all of these life challenges that have really pushed me and poked me and also gotten me to think a bit differently about a situation and you know, well maybe I, I would react differently next time or maybe I would approach things a, a different way. Maybe you don't know, I do struggle with a lot of health issues. I have what's called fibromyalgia, which is a muscle and nerve mm, deterioration type disease, which essentially makes me in pain 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, but are you 165 days a year? It's a real struggle and I've had it for about 18 years now amongst whole other, but it's a real challenge and I want to show people that is if you want to live your life and if you have dreams and, and goals and passions to want to travel, life is so short you know we spend our entire lives working for this over here that over there we spend our entire time working for that killing ourselves killing our bodies this is what i did for years and we may not ever get there and we sacrifice we sacrifice our heart and our passions and you know the things that we've always wanted to do and i found myself thinking you know oh you know i'm miserable with what i'm doing my body hurts, all I want to do is travel the world and have these beautiful experiences. And then it dawned on me, it's just 
like, you know what, I need to start living because at the end of your life, what are you going to look back? I really, really, really wish I did this. It would really suck to have regrets on your deathbed. Think of all of the amazing experiences you've had and the people that you've met and you've touched your life and the people that you've inspired. These are the things that you're going to think about. So this is a big fuel of why I travel as well. Ah, the concluding remarks. My butt is cold. I'm in Johannesburg at the moment and it's like 9 Celsius. What? I think that's all. I'm so happy, honored, and humbled by all of your support, really. Fight fears and adversities and go out there and do what you've always dreamed of. That's really cool. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and See you in the next episode. Bye. My name is Rosie and welcome to my channel. Oh my gosh, almost 9,000 subscribers. There's gotta be a blue blue reel for this, really. Okay. <laughs> Fuck English. My mouth is dry. Me water. That work well under pressure. Let's start again.